Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Sovereign Society podcast. I'm your guide, Sabrina Riccio, and let me just say this episode is something very near and dear to my heart because as someone who struggled with mental health issues since her childhood, it was inevitable for it to arise when building my business. But the truth is, because I was building my business, I was able to really face the mental health challenges that I experienced, especially anxiety um, and the depression when it came to building my business, because you can't have those things in your way if you are going to build a successful business. Say that fast, real so clearly, like the fact that I'm having a hard time speaking that is showing like I'm clearing out and reassessing and realigning and my throat chakra for me to speak my truth. And now I want to share with you the five golden truths that I've learned when it comes to honoring your mental health and your online empire. So before we even dive into that, I just want to say that during this month of February, anyone who signs up for Alchemize Your Systems is going to win a chance or enter a chance to win a one-on-one call with me. Um, Because Alchemize Your Systems is a self-study experience, I wanted to offer something to offer support. So if you're interested, you can check out the show notes or check out sabrinariccio.com slash alchemize your systems. The second thing is that I have a brand new Instagram. So on my old account, which is now shamanessa.godessa, you're going to be seeing me sharing Uh, posts and whatnot from my new account. Um, I just wanted something clean and fresh, especially after I got hacked uh, during around Christmas time in December. Even though I got my Instagram back, my engagement and everything was super wonky. So I don't know what they did. Um, So I wanted a clean new slate, new year. And a lot of what I'm sharing with you in this episode, I learned myself, um, you know, pushing and pushing and pushing myself to quote unquote, be successful. um, When I realized the bigger piece was honoring myself, honoring my mental health, because your mental ability will be the thing that deters you from experiencing success. Number one, if you believe you're not worthy, if you believe you're not enough, if you believe or the doubts, the insecurities, whatever that is not in alignment with your highest self, whatever is pushing you or having you victim, believe that you're less than, you're not going to be able to build a successful business if you're allowing those thoughts to continue to run the show and that you believe those thoughts when they come up. The key is to make sure that you are dismantling them. It's not about necessarily bypassing them, but you have to recognize they're coming up, find that deeper root issue, challenge, a situation where that first was, where it was stemmed from. What was that first experience that told you you weren't enough? What was that first experience that told you to play small, to belittle yourself and your worth and your value? That's where the work is to really understand the mental health piece of building your online empire. So I just wanted to share that because The thing here is that the ultimate real talk truth is that if you are choosing to answer the call and to really revolutionize this world with your medicine, honoring your mental health and your overall well-being are non-negotiable. You know me, I'm all about the queen of social media sabbaticals. I think they're super important to take time away, unplug Because think about it, we're the first generation, the first era to acclimate through this human experience with all this technology as a part of our lives, right? So we have so much information coming at us. I mean, here we are using technology so that you can get this transmission and this download. Amazing. We're able to connect in different parts of the world. Amazing. But we can become super dependent on our social media, super dependent on our tech that we need to learn to cultivate and balance. And our nervous system and our mental health needs that break away. Our overall well-being needs that time away. 
And so that's where we have to also recognize what from the Piscean age are we willing to take with us and what from the Aquarian age are we willing to implement and how can we find balance within that, right? That's just something that I really want you to understand because you came here during this wild time and it's been wild in human history for a reason. You came here during this time because you there's things within you, things from your ancestral lineage, your gifts, your talents. There's a greater purpose behind that passion. Passion and purpose go hand in hand, right? So while we can be out there and really bombarded with so much bullshit that we find in the news, right? The news is constantly doing its best to condition you to fear because that will allow you or that that fear allows them to manipulate you them meaning these this corporate greed and people that are malicious that are ill intended um they want to have power and control over you so it's really important to understand that if you're constantly seeing the news which is all over social media right now let's be honest that in itself can be extremely overwhelming right so Again, while there's an opportunity for us to be really grateful for the advancement of modern technology, you have to understand that you being part of the solution is about cultivating that equanimity, cultivating that balance within the now moment of technology and the past traditions and the things that have worked or the things that can really sustain humanity being in this now moment. Because if we're so reliant on technology and we're forgetting about the elemental beauty that nature provides, um, that the breath offers, that connection away from the radiation from our phones as well, we're going to be able to cultivate meaningful experiences and times to really fill our cup and nourish ourselves. So let's talk about some of the real talk truths when it comes to navigating the current state of the world, technology, and your overall mental health. So again, I want to start by saying taking time away from the news is okay because, well, I was just mentioning before, understanding that there's a lot going on in this world right now. And we can find ourselves overwhelmed or in deep rabbit holes, right? And my ultimate advice is to give yourself permission to delete social media apps and again, connect with that nature that now your loved ones and your highest self, because if you're constantly consuming all of this noise of, you know, tragedy and fear and separation, there will be anxiety and you won't be able to really hone in on your bigger mission, your why, who you're here to serve, your greater purpose, right? So again, I just really want to say that it's okay to take time away from the news. Um, I know for me, I think it's important to have those social media sabbaticals. So maybe even just for the weekend, if you want to delete the app or whatever, if you want to go on a vacation for the week without, you know, both unplugging and without the social media constant scroll of the feed, do that. Do what you need to really nourish you, to really hone into your own energy, because especially if you're an empath, that is your superpower, but it can be a lot to really navigate through it all. So just make sure you're you're not over consuming the bullshit that's going on in the world right now. That's my biggest prayer for you. The next piece I would really say is that Witness and understand that your experiences have shaped you into the person you are today, okay? So I want you to give yourself time to understand or to recognize and to honor yourself for being able to overcome some incredible, incredible feats, right? There have been big pieces you've been able to overcome, maybe through your childhood, Maybe now, maybe through your business, maybe in relationships, what have you. We all have different experiences that have been wild and testy and challenging, but you've been able to overcome it, right? 
And sometimes we can really find ourselves triggered by what we see. So again, going back to the news, if there's a lot of pieces or or situations or experiences within ourselves that we have yet to really process, to transmute, to heal from, and we're finding ourselves in that constant consciousness trap and loop that's having us doubt ourselves and our ability to really excel and succeed, you're going to be giving away your power from that space, right? You're going to be having something outside of you tell you that you aren't worthy, something outside of you to have that power over you, that that step above you. And you are a sovereign being. You are a sovereign being. You are a sovereign being. Being. You are here in the now taking action, right? So I want you to recognize that you have every opportunity, every chance with every and any breath to make that decision to reclaim your power right here, right now. So this is your opportunity, your chance. It's all up to you to choose that right here, right now, I choose to heal. Right here, right now, I choose to forgive someone. Right here, right now, I choose to forgive myself. Right here, right now, I choose to be part of the solution. And from that space, because I've been able to, or this is what you say to yourself, right? This is what I want you to understand is that because you have been able to overcome this experience, you have the ability to help someone else in need. Your online empire is about helping someone being part of the solution of something you've already conquered. So with that, I want you to understand is like, you are a couple steps ahead, but there isn't power over, right? You are co-creating with your community, with your clients, um, with your students, whatever it may be that you are helping or who you are here serving. You have done the work and you are here to be part of the solution and people are investing within you to, in a way, have like a timeline leap right? It may have taken you three months to figure out, but maybe you can teach that in a six-week course. I know for me, for instance, in Alchemize Your Systems, which is an eight-week experience, but you can pick and choose whatever you want because it's a self-study experience. It took me months, if not years, to figure out how to use these these systems. And I'm constantly improving my programs, constantly um, putting in more content, more information. And when you invest in my programs, you're going to get the upgrades that come because that's just how I choose to run my business. I want to continue to deliver to my students even after they've invested or after we've worked together. So for instance, in Alchemize Your Systems, I... I've been it took me a long time to figure out how to use ClickUp, which is my core, my program operating system that I use to organize my social media content, to organize my podcasts, uh, to organize my planning. Everything is there for me. Everything is ready to be planned. Everything is organized. And I'm literally, because you're investing in that program, I'm giving you on a silver platter what it is that it took me a long time to figure out with tutorial videos. That's the thing. When it comes to your program, people are investing in you to take that leap. They're taking that leap of faith to invest in you and and making that decision to enroll in your program and your offering and your service, what have it be. And they're taking that timeline leap of like, I don't need to take three months, right? You're, they're exchanging money for time in a way of, I don't need to take this amount of time. I can just invest in in this person, in you, and you're going to help them get through it. Amazing. Those experiences that have helped you now, in this now moment, get to this space are what people are investing in. You are here to be part of the solution. You are here to offer your guidance, your wisdom, your support. And again, we know that together we can really implement real change. This leads me to my next one. The lone wolf days are over, right? So because you are living in the golden age, which is a time of sovereign embodiment, 
This is your opportunity to choose collaboration over competition, okay? And we can see if that competition is still coming up. Of course, there will be things where you're competitive about in terms of like sports, you know, watching the Olympics or whatever, they're competing for that gold medal. But when it comes time for business, we can collaborate and each one of us can bring something unique to the table, right? So you can ask for that support. You can, you know, really be humble and be like, yo, I need help. I'm going to invest in you, right? You can be humble and be like, yo, I need help. Can you support me? This is the time for collaboration. This is the time for community. If we are to really implement and integrate 5D consciousness as our new baseline reality in this now moment in our human experience, we have to embody what the 5D is about. It's not about competition. It's about unity. It's about collaboration. It's about love. It's about community. It's about coming together and understanding that we are here for a very, very short time. We are here on purpose. We are here on mission. We are here to revolutionize the world with our medicine. You are here on mission. You are here on purpose. You are here to revolutionize the world with your medicine. So again, there can be many people out there who are where you are, who have similar dreams, yet, again, they have those different strengths, different talents, and different gifts. But together, we have the ability to implement real change. Because this leads me to my next one. How you honor your business is a deep reflection of how you honor you. So if you remember the simple fact that your business is an extension of you, you have this choice right here, right now to run your business during this golden age by working smarter, not harder, right? You have the opportunity to make the most and to really enjoy life while there are elements of your business that run effortlessly behind your dreams. When you think about it in your personal life, that's you surrendering to God and having faith in this higher power, in source, in the universe, whatever you see it as, whatever you honor it, I still honor God as God, the generator, the organizer, and the deliverer or the destroyer right here, right now. But you surrender to that higher power. You have faith that things are unfolding behind the scenes. That's like your systems. Once you set it up, you've created the intention, right? You create that intention and then you give it up to allow the tech and the automations to run things behind the scenes. If you give yourself space to reflect, space to hone your energy in, right? If you are scattered within your own life, you're going to be scattered within your business. This is why working with tools and online systems and programs and automations and these different tech support, they allow you to bulk it out, to plan ahead, and to work smarter, not harder. The old paradigm was about work hard, work hard, work hard. You don't have to work hard. You can work smart. Of course, there will be things where, you know, you need to hone in and zone in, but that's working smarter and you can feel the energy. You can trust the process. You can get things done. Like you can create, for instance, let's say you run a podcast. If you outline that podcast and if you take the time to hone in on what you're creating, is it supporting some program that you're launching, that you're selling some service that you're selling, You can be in that zone, create, and you can have a month's worth of content in one day. And I'm going to be talking more about this on my YouTube as well um, on how to work with these different programs and systems. But again, this is what I teach inside Alchemize Your System. And this is what I also teach deeper in my program, Business Alchemy. So if you're just ready to start your business, Business Alchemy is the way to go. But again, if you choose to honor you, take time for yourself, fill your cup, turn off that phone and hone in into, you know, your energy into the now moment, 
your success is inevitable. And that's why this last piece I really want to share right here right now is understanding and recognizing that the systems in your business are the very things that support your mental health and well-being. And it's interesting because, you know, as after I got sick and spent eight months of doctor's appointments, brain scans, sleep studies, 50 vials of blood work done, stool samples, doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment, seizures, sleepwalking episodes, you name it. I went through hell, um, you know, in 2021 and a little bit into the beginning of 2022 as well. But it really had me time to hone in and recognize that I love helping people with their systems. Like if there's anything in business, yes, I love branding. Marketing can be fun, but I really love helping people with their systems because with when your systems are set up, you can go out there and enjoy your life. You don't have to be confined to working all the time. You don't have to be confined doing the same mundane thing over and over and over again. That will experience burnout. And that's why my first episode during, after a six month break from the podcast was teaching and talking about what I learned from extreme burnout. So the advancement of technology allows you to not be so confined to your computer and your phone. And this is what we need to honor within our mental health. Again, how do we acclimate with all this technology? How do we acclimate with this constant information in our face and constant like, oh, you need to answer the phone right now because this person's calling. Like how do like constantly being online, whether it be literally online through the web or ready to pick up a phone call when it comes. We don't have to. We need to cultivate these boundaries better. So again, with bulk contenting, by planning ahead, using templates, and having a real content strategy at play, you can honor your creative sparks and your workflow so that your business runs behind the scenes while you are taking care of your health and infusing more joy and play into your reality. So I know for me, for 2022, this is a big intention I have with my business. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is what's fueling me. This is what is inspiring more than ever to lead, to share information, to share content, because over the years of me building my business, I've tried every and any program out there, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't, and that's what I want to help you really overcome. So if you are ready to cultivate more sanity, more peace, and more flow in your business, I invite you to enroll in Alchemize Your Systems because those systems that I have created and shared in that program are the very things that I use within my business that have allowed me to take time away from the computer, that have allowed me to do social media sabbaticals, that have allowed me to focus on my mental health and well-being, that have allowed me to support six and seven figure sovereign CEOs, including myself. So again, anyone who signs up during the month of February, you have the opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one call with me. And while we don't meet weekly and while it's a go at your own flow experience, you'll have access. There's private groups inside my private group, the Sovereign Society. There are groups in there for people in these programs. So you're going to be able to connect with alumni. You're going to be able to connect with me and you'll find support in that group. So again, if you're interested, you can check out the show notes below or you can go to sabrinariccio.com slash alchemize dash your dash systems and check it out. I'm going to be adding more tutorials and more templates in there because I'm so passionate about you being present for yourself, you're being present for your partner, you being present for your family, for your children, especially because you know, I grew up in a time where my parents were always working and that was a huge piece of my wounding of, of, you know, just having to stay busy or feeling, not, am I feeling love? That was a huge thing of just a lot of abandonment wounds. So again, when I talked in the beginning of this episode, talking about how your experiences have shaped you into who you are today, because I had time or experiences and memories, painful memories of people not being there because they're working hard and not working smart, I knew this was going to be part of my mission. And this is what is fueling me 
more than ever right here, right now. And so this is why I want to deliver it to you. But I would love to hear what you thought of this conversation. Um, you can go check out my YouTube as well, youtube.com slash Sabrina Riccio, because I'm going to be sharing more and more of these templates and these tutorials. But overall, I just want you to know, like, you're going to be able to overcome whatever challenge you are. You have the ability to really build an on online empire that flows effortlessly. You have the ability and you are here to activate a legacy that will impact the generations to come and will revolutionize the world. I guarantee it. I believe it in you. I believe it within myself. I believe it within our community um, because we have so many incredible, intuitive, strong-willed people here on this planet right here, right now. And if you're tuning into this, you're one of them. So again, I want to thank you for tuning into this podcast. If you love this episode, leave a rating and review on iTunes. Really help us. It would really help us get the message and the medicine out there um, because I'm going to be sharing a lot more with you on what it takes to really revolutionize the world with your medicine because the world is ready for it. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Satnam.